Hello everyone and welcome back to the Subspace M series. Previously the stadium got destroyed and we met Pit and he met up with Mario. So now time to explore the sea of clouds. Hey, the Caribbean Zelda, the survivors of- oh shit, maybe not, maybe they're not going to be survivors. Oh god, they're going to get run over. And Jesus, the halberd is massive. Oh no, Zelda looks very panicked. I'll play as her. Oh, we're on the halberd. Looks much nicer than it did in uh, Kirby Superstar, or maybe not. I mean, Superstar had that lovely, uh, like, 2D graphics design. Like, the game came out in 1994, so it was it pretty much the like, what what do you call it? I mean, 2D graphics design was at kind of its best state back then. So right before all 3D stuff came out. Oh shit! Got hit by the claw. Oh no! Well, they're dead. Or not. Cool. Zelda's pretty powerful. Well suited for- oh god. Pretty well suited for subspace. But, I don't think she's ever been that great in that competitive context. Maybe that'll change with Smash Ultimate. Ah! Damn you. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed here. Oh man. <laughs> Not too good for Zelda. Alright. Let's get this. Oh sweet, extra life. Could definitely make good use of that. Ow! What the hell was that? Yeah, these dudes have like candy in their pants or something? Oh god, there's a creepy fish dudes. Oh god, no no no, don't die. Nice. Oh god, a tomato. Delicious. Had some good ravioli tonight with some, uh, what did I have on it? I think it was like a, oh, what did that, what did it say on the package? It might have been like some kind of tomato mozzarella thing inside it. And I put some four cheese sauce on it, which was very good. But I've been like, I've been having a ton of ravioli lately, just because I can. I like ravioli. But I've had problems with like managing to maybe overcook it or undercook it or cook it too violently or something. But I keep like tearing it apart while it's in the pot, so like all the cheese falls out and you just have like this sad looking husk of a piece of pasta. Breaks my heart as a pasta lover. Oh the fan. It took this item out of Smash 4, but it's pretty fun to play with. Oh, that was awesome! I love the, like, just photorealistic food they have in this. Like, it's, it's, like, sticks out a real funny way. And that's kind of one of the things I like about Smash Brothers. Like, oh, ooh. Like, they don't really adapt everyone to fit, like, a, a Smash Brothers art style. They kind of just let them, like, stick with the ones from their own game. Which I, is kind of a cool choice that they made. Like, imagine if Ness just looked like a, a Fire Emblem character or something. That'd be weird. Or if, like, I don't know, Ike looked like the Kirby character. How'd that even work? I guess there were humans. There is one human in Kirby. There's Adeline from uh, Kirby 64. But that's really about it. Oh, alright, gotta defeat all these dudes. And they spawn infinitely, or probably not infinitely, because that would like kill the game's performance. There we go. Ah. They're like too low for me to hit. Cool. 
Zelda's recovery is kind of unpredictable if you're not familiar with it, like I am. Oh, boulders. Don't want to get hit by one of those. And I got hit by one of those. Great. Zelda's kind of slow. Oh, oh, okay then. I guess that's how this is going to go. We beat up by stick figures. But because they're all down there. Oh god. Well, I was going to say because everyone's down there, I don't have to worry about them like coming out of the portal. But it appears that... Uh, Danger so tries to find me. Come on, Zelda. Survive. I guess it makes sense that she's kind of slow. I mean, it can't be easy to run in a dress like that. Ooh, dang it. Couldn't teleport away fast enough. Oh, that helps. It's very helpful. Sounds like some kind of like anime character now. Oh! Well, now she just sounds like she's dying. But yeah, like, like anime characters when you don't have a dog sound like crazy high pitched. Not a big fan, but you know. It looks like Kirby's gonna be finishing this up. Good for him. Good for little old Kirby. Got two Dr. Mario's, a Donkey Kong, uh, a lot of stuff. No trophies though. All right. Up next, we got the jungle. Look at all them bananas. What are you even gonna do with all of those? Oh god, that guy looks very dead. Oh, he smashed that, that Koopa's shell. I mean, I guess. Paper Mario 64 does say that they can survive without their shell, but still, I mean, if the, if the, this game doesn't follow those rules and like makes them actual makes the like rules of the game follow actual turtle biology, then that Koopa is dead. Hey, there's Diddy. Yeah, Diddy was a newcomer for Smash Ball. It's supposed to be a pretty good character, I think, but. I'm not sure my earth how to play him. And that's great cutscene direction. And I'll do Diddy first. Although I prefer playing as Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's my kind of like go to heavyweight Smash Brothers. Donkey Kong or Falcon. Yeah, so as I was saying like earlier. I think they. Oh god damn it! I really should have just stuck with right your Nintendo enemies for all this. For all the subspace en enemies, I mean. Yeah. So the peanut guns are based off his uh, his weapons from Donkey Kong 64, a game which I have not played, but I always really wanted to play it when I was a kid. So I watched a ton of YouTube videos of it, like all the boss fights and stuff. In fact, it's kind of like. One of the reasons I ended up like doing like gaming videos on YouTube is just because I watched so many of, of them as a kid that like I don't know I had to give it a shot of my own. Oh, okay. What's down here? Oh God, yeah, Diddy's recovery is kind of hard to work with sometimes. Oh, I got a trophy. Got Falco from Star Fox Salt. I rented that game from Blockbuster, like. I don't know how many years ago, back when they sell at GameCube games and Blockbuster, and back when they still had Blockbuster. Now, yeah, Donkey Kong Country did a lot of the these like uh, barrel cannon uh, levels, and I think they're pretty tough sometimes. I wish I wasn't doing so good at this because I really want to play as Donkey Kong. This is an awesome item. The uh, Cracker Launcher. Oh, come on. Nice. Oh, but getting it facing the right direction is tough sometimes. Oh, I still had a shot left. Nice. Let's see. 
I shoot? Oh yeah, need to hit the, uh, what do you call it? The thing up there before I can, uh, get into that little space down there. And secure the... Oh, got another cracker launcher. I wonder what game that's from. Nothing I remember. Oh, CD, CD. Those are like the rare sides of the game, I think. So, if you see one, then, you know, just do whatever you can to get it. Tomatoes. Very good. Now, something I've kind of been thinking about tomatoes is that they're kind of one of those things that's like sometimes better as an ingredient than as an actual meal. Like, I've never been too big a fan of, like, I don't know, cherry tomatoes in a salad or just, you know, straight up eating a tomato, but man, there's a lot of good dishes that, like, have tomatoes as an ingredient. It's kind of how I feel about eggs as well. Like, I absolutely never, ever eat eggs because I just find them disgusting, but, I mean, now, obviously, like, eggs are basically a staple in, I don't know, Western cooking? I don't know. I'm not too big a, of an expert in just, I don't know, food geography? Would that be the right term? That's a lot of Hammer Brothers. Oh, and we got Bullet Bills, too. Man, how many of these things are going to spawn? Oh, extra life. There we go. Yeah, because Hammer Brothers wear a helmet. Oh, no. All right. Oh, trophy, trophy. I want it. I want that Pokemon. Oh man, it must have still been in invincibility mode. Nice. Not killing is the best taunt. It's so fun to spam that one after you get a kill. That one's kind of boring. And that one's just kind of hard to even notice. Do I get anything if I go higher than this? I think not. <sighs> Ooh. Oh yeah, I sleep. Er, thought I dodged those well, but it seems not. All right, what's in here? Trophy. What did I get? Tetra from Wind Waker. I've been playing Wind Waker a little bit lately. Like, I've, I just beat, oh. Uh, I just beat uh, a thousand year door, so. I'm kind of looking for another GameCube game to play. And. Start. And. I basically just came back to an old Wind Waker save I had from, like, I don't know how many years ago. And look at the size of Donkey Kong. Absolute unit. Oh, and Sage's over. Cool. But, yeah. So, I forget, where am I in Wind Waker? Oh, and we got the bananas back. And here comes Bowser. So, is Donkey Kong a villain in, like, Nintendo terms? Because, like, I mean, in, I mean, he's got a bunch of games to kind of, uh, uh what, what, what do you call it? He stars in a lot of games as the main character. Oh no, Donkey Kong! Goodbye, Diddy. Goodbye, Donkey Kong. Cool. Got some cool trophies. And I got something from a Game Boy cooking game. And Goombala from TTYD. Alright, so next episode we will be doing the playing level and whatever comes after that. So stay tuned for that and have a great day.